copyright disclaimer. It was years ago when a sibling in Mashiach had warned me that she had a dream of me using emoticons in order to flirt with men. That in effect made me avoid sending smileys to men but I still continued using smileys towards women or women siblings. It's only now that I had dug upon it somberly. Etymologically speaking, Emoji means picture character that was invented by Shigetaka Kurita. Even before this, emoji made me think of kanji, the Japanese characters. That's something I envied with my twin before when she took the Nihongo class while during my time, the teacher failed to include it. But going back to the topic, Shigetaka Kurita a young engineer at the Japanese phone company NTT Docomo, realized that people were desperate to include feeling and tone in their digital messages. Him with Masonic hand symbols, more black and white, and that heart symbol. Japanese pages first allowed people to send each other a heart. When the heart was removed from pages later, sales plummeted. We've established before that the heart is a Babylonian symbol of B-A-A-L. They began life when their inventor noticed a craze for sending heart icons among Japanese teenagers, as well as among businessmen. Before emoji, emoticons had let you express how you felt by using combinations of punctuation marks. Signs and symbols. Let's continue. 39% of communication on a regular day is through technology. We've shut out that rhythm, the sound of the voice. And so emojis is almost a brilliant human way of replacing that. Why would they want to replace voice with emojis? Those who use it, Fisher says, have more sex and go on more dates. That confirms the dream that our sibling Mashiach had. These emojis are just the beginning of what we're going to see in ways of communicating through technology our emotions. So, in these modern times, being able to project feeling and emotion is especially important. And let's be honest, even the harshest truths can be softened by an emoji. Conditioning us to think and feel that way. Shigetaka Kurita never expected much to happen after he made his emoji set. He later left NTT Docomo. But he knew he had created something huge when he started seeing it on his favorite TV shows. His favorite remains the heart. No wonder. The Museum of Modern Art announced the same museum wherein the witch Marina Abramovich had an exhibit before. Let me take you in a short uh, tour in this vulgar wicked thing. A bit of caution, it has nudity in it. If that's not Luciferian, I don't know what is. Probably they had rituals in there. Going back to emojis, The Museum of Modern Art announced this week that it's acquiring a striking new collection. The original set of 176... This is what it looks like. One would wonder why they would put it in a museum of modern ART. What is its significance to them? The same museum that had featured a biopic of Sadizla Benksinski, the dystopian surrealist painter. A man who got into an accident wherein he lost fingers, hence he pursued painting instead. Hmm. Here are some of his quote-unquote masterpieces. They look like paintings that are possessed. We know that they are. Hence, 
They say that the eye is the window to the nefesh. But sometimes, the creations can be a window too. If I may say, you may wonder why I'm sharing this thing or him. But it has a connection with the emoji and its true agenda behind it. To jump ahead, it was said that the emoji, 72 emojis, represents the 72 sigils or seals that are being used in demonic invocation. In what is found in the Ars Goetia, in the book of the Lesser Key of Solomon. Coincidences are an accidental being used by Alistair Crowley. It was said that even the Kabbalists use it. One side note here, the actual version of the emojis published by the Unicode is this sigilistic black and white version, which is much closer to the original seals than the cartoonized. Moreover, in Unicode 8, there are 72 face core emojis. 72. The same number as the number of demonic powers in the Ars Goetia. Dizzy face is Marbus. Face with look of triumph is Baal. Nerd face is Malthus. So on and so forth. This sequence of 72 emojis is followed by a coda signifying the end of a magical sequence. Three symbols of death, two symbols of alienation, and one symbol of a soulless automaton. The meaning of this 3 2 1 sequence Take is this, that the occult which represents U plus 1 F 6 2 E, face with open mouth, and corresponds to the demon Marchosius. The painting on the right is the creation of Sadisla Beksinski. Open mouth and corresponds to the demon Marchosius. On a purely graphical level, you can appreciate the addition of detail. The curly K shape on either side of Marchosius glyph is rendered as hollow cheekbones that are lost in the simplification of the emoji. But this image also fills in different details. And this than is what the shed Marco looks like. This painting corresponds to you. 1F912 face with thermometer. Looks like this according to Ars Goetia book. Uh, note the use of red, how the trumpet has become the mercury of the thermometer, and the red blush of the face is maintained in the two depictions. Upon checking in uh, Wikipedia about these things, I noticed something quite peculiar. This was included in the list. Doesn't it look like a clown that is also in the emoticons, emojis. Is it far-fetched to say that these emojis are being used in order to invoke those Shedim? Have nothing to do with the fruitless deeds of darkness, but rather expose them. All is team to Yahuwah Abinu through Yahushua Hamashiach. Shalom.